Why would you ruin a good car? If you're going to do this to a short step side, don't geek it out. Don't molest it. Then it'd be worth something. And I wouldn't have to argue with you for two months about why I won't give you 40. I'm only going to give you 23. I think I might be screwed at 23. So here we are at the GM TV garage. And this is my baby car collection that I've been putting together. Um, it's random. A lot of it's stuff that I am familiar with. I'm 50 years old. You know, everybody likes the stuff that was in the high school parking lot. Some of this was a little before my high school parking lot. I graduated in 91. But I'm also more, I'm a value guy. So what's going to make money? What's going to be worth more money? These square body trucks, the Chevys, they're really climbing up. It's hard to believe that these old nothing trucks that nobody cares about, everybody's hot and heavy for now. But um, like this, this is an 82. Uh, it allegedly has 40,000 miles on it. We bought it from an individual. But what's good about this is it's a short bed. And that is a, I think that's about the same vintage. Maybe it's an 85, but it's also a short bed in four wheel drive. These trucks are worth a lot more money in short bed. This is a 69 Camaro uh, stick shift, 327 car. Um, I bought this in North Carolina. I bought this one the other day off of a Gimme the Vin customer. And I don't care much about this, but it is a short bed. It is 42,000 miles. So that makes it worth something. That IROC Z has 6,000 original miles on it. And that's why I bought it. It's an 85 model. The next year up, they went to the 350 from the 5.0. Maybe that was two years up, but you know, my sister had one of these cars, so it means something to me. And my neighbor had one of those SS Monte Carlos, and that one's a choo-choo conversion with 60,000 actual miles on it. I'm really not that cool in Monte Carlo. It doesn't do anything for me, but it is, you know, it is desirable to some. So uh, General Motors was kind of the deal in the 80s. General Motors had their stuff together. So as you can see, this barn, ironically, is just full of GM stuff. This Jeepster Commando, I may have screwed up. I gave 27,000 for this thing. The guy wanted 35. And I was thinking Broncos are bringing 50 to 70,000 when they're, when they're converted properly. This one is very much converted properly. It reminded me of the old buddy style Bronco a bit. Um, you know, they put the big V8 in it, all the running gear, all the detail, all the everything. And he, they spent a lot of money on this build. It's got Jeep Trailhawk seats in it. Um, they did a nice job. We need, I need to pull the, I mean, this thing just showed up today. So we bought this off of a GMTV customer, Give Me The VIN customer, um, in Dallas. And they delivered it to the office. I haven't bring it out here. And this is what I was not excited about with these old cars, just getting a bunch of old car parts. Because as you know, they just get stacked everywhere. So these are the original seat. These are the original seats, I guess. And they recovered them, so I need to put them over here. Uh, get them out of the way. But that thing's lifted well and it's got a good build and it's got the right shocks. It's got the right wheels and tires. And, you know, for the guy that doesn't want to spend 60,000 or 50,000 on a 75 Bronco, you know, maybe they'll give 30 for this one. I don't know. We will see. This thing's a mess. It is covered in Rhino liner. Um, I, I forgot exactly what year it is. Let me see. Oh, it's a 78, okay. So it's a 78 square, 350. But if you look underneath it, you know, it's got the Fox shocks and the oil, um, it's got the oil reservoir. It's a good off-road rig. I mean, this thing was built right. And on the interior, you know, they built it like a Baja rig. I mean, it's. It's pretty good. Personally, I would rather have a box stock, short 78, short bed, four wheel drive Chevy that's perfect condition, but this one will be okay. I forgot what we paid for this. I think we gave 23,000 for it. Um, it might make a buck, it might not. This car is unique. 
This is a 96 um, C4S. This is a 96 C4S. The C is Carrera, four is all-wheel drive, and the S, you'll have to look back here, I call it Kim Kardashian butt. So the S on a Porsche is the big booty. And as you can see, this one looks like it has dual rear wheel fenders. It's got Kim Kardashian's hips on it, and that makes it worth more money, just like Kim Kardashian's ass. This is a manual, which is super, but unbelievable the mileage on this car. Let me see if I can get it powered up for you. Look at the miles. Where is the key on this thing? It's right here. Six hundred and fourteen miles. Ninety-six air-cooled C4S manual. So this is what we call in the business a unicorn. Uh, the guy bought it new. He put it in one of those. Uh, he he put it in one of those bags, like the air bag. So it was covered by a shell all its life. He passes away. We buy it from his wife. She calls us back six months later and says, I've got another one for you. I didn't want to let it go, but I, but, but I need to. I'm going to sell his cars. And it's right over there. So that's a 97 C5 Vet. Big deal, right? We'll start looking. You notice the tags on the window, the transport tag, the window sticker that's never been removed. Open the door on it and you'll see what we've got on the inside. This car has 200 miles on it. They never drove it. And this sounds ridiculous and I should have got a video of it, but when we bought it, she gave me a bag of his ashes and said, will you put, in the negotiation with the lady, Will you put his ashes on this car if you're just going to store it in your barn? Because that's what he wanted. Dude sounds pretty weird to me, man. But I mean, who else has a 97 C5 Vet first year of this body and never drives it? And this car is new, new, new. So there is dust on the car. It got dust on the way over, but I poured the ashes on top of it too because I didn't need to keep his ashes. What am I going to do with the dead guy's ashes? And here we go. So I'm going to leave it dirty for a while. <laughs> You see all kinds of things in this business. But again, this is a, head over here, you can get the shot. But I mean, it's just screw new. Factory air in the spare is what we call it. You can see we got dust on us and ash dust when we were coming in and out. So um, don't touch the dead guy uh, unless you want to. And whoever buys this one, whenever I go to sell it, if I don't clean it, uh, we can dust off the ashes and you can put them on the mantle just like they didn't meet the parents with Fokker's dad. So this is a 90 K5. And everybody's gone K5 crazy. I'm K5 crazy. But the reason I'm K5 crazy is because my first car when I was 15 years old, was a K5 Blazer. I had a brand new one. My, my dad spoiled me, thank God for him. And these cars are super duper desirable. They never should have stopped making them. I bought that one also just to show what ruined the K5. That was the next gen, that's the 92 Tahoe Yukon. Um, but this had a removable roof. This thing is as classic as classic gets. And I do believe that they will just continue to appreciate and value. This one has, I think 60,000 miles on it. This thing I really don't like. We bought it from a customer, and if you're offended by my comments, I apologize in advance, but it's kind of methy to me. I mean, it's just white trash. It's just got white trash all over it. They shave the door handles off. They put the big tires on it. They've got the dumb tank in it. I mean, he had it. It was a complete factory resto. No, it was a complete restoration frame off. I've got the photos of the guy. He took it completely apart. He took all the time in the world. He spent a gazillion dollars on this thing just to ruin it. Why would you ruin a good car? If you're gonna do this to a short step side, 69C, do it right, dude. Put it back to stock. Don't geek it out, don't molest it. Then it'd be worth something. And I wouldn't have to argue with you for two months about why I won't give you 40, I'm only gonna give you 23. I think I might be screwed at 23. I kinda hate this car to tell you the truth. I've been looking at it wondering if I could 
take, bring it back to stock, but then you shave the stupid door handles out. And then look at this. Here's something else, boys and girls. When you're restoring a car and spending too much money on it, look right here. Do you see the overspray on the rubbers? Take the rubbers off. When you're restoring a car and you're repainting it, take the damn rubbers out so you don't get overspray on it. And I don't have to sit out here in the middle of the night with a clay bar and a razor blade and clean up your paintwork. Don't be stupid. Have some class and don't geek this thing out and put the stupid, bring it back to stock. So I'm, whoever wants this, make me an offer. I'm selling this bitch. <laughs>